These Metro Access minibuses are all over downtown Seattle and throughout King County, shuttling riders with disabilities between appointments, errands, and work. But in recent years, many customers became fed up with the service. Here's what they told us after an audit revealed several persistent problems. You're always late or always hours early, literally hours either way. My son's been left out in the cold and dark for two or more hours waiting for his ride. And oops, they made a mistake and um, he wasn't picked up. Metro says it heard the complaints and is making changes. It just signed a contract with a new company, which will take over access service in the fall with the goal of improving on-time performance. Customers will also be able to schedule and pay for trips using an app or website. And customer service calls will no longer go to an outside company. Metro will hear those directly. We're going to have a more transparent conversation with our customers so that we can hold our contractors accountable. We are hopeful that this will be a really big improvement. The Transit Riders Union, which pushed for the fixes, says it would like to see the county move away from a system of using contractors to run buses. But, uh, you know, in the meantime, I think that at the, this contract is, is a big step forward. Metro says some of the improvements are already in place, such as narrowing the pickup windows for scheduled rides. The other changes should start to be rolled out later this year and into next year once that new contract takes effect. In the newsroom, Ted Land, King 5 News.